welcome back to the gothic chef today i'm going to be making shrimp scampi my version of shrimp scampi and i will apologize ahead of time i have a new microphone and i don't have a pop filter on it and it's popping all over the place so i apologize but uh, i will get one but anyway so um this is my version of shrimp scampi when I say my version, I'm talking about a shrimp scampi that will have a luxurious sauce to it. And it will not be bathing and swimming in this watery, greasy, buttery mess that you get sometimes when you go to a restaurant and you order this. So um, sit back, relax, enjoy, make sure you have all your ingredients together at once before you start cooking because this goes really fast. Let's get started. So for the ingredients, we have the juice of one lemon. We have six garlic cloves crushed. About two to three tablespoons of chopped parsley, could be Italian or curly. We have fresh black pepper, paprika, and sea salt. Four tablespoons of real butter, don't use margarine. Two tablespoons of flour, could be all-purpose flour, is fine. And large shrimp, um, I can't remember the number, but I'll put it in the recipe. Some delicious Pinot Grigio, do not use wine you wouldn't drink. And two to three tablespoons of olive oil, a very good quality olive oil. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to season and flour the shrimp. Uh, I laid these out single file. I dried them well with a paper towel. They're somewhat at room temperature. Um, you don't have to have it at room temperature, but kind of helps with the cooking process. So we're going to take our trio here, our pepper, salt, and paprika, and we're going to season them nicely on both sides use your fingers nothing wrong with using nature's tools okay and then we're going to lightly flour each side. Now this is the trick to my shrimp scampi. Uh, as I said at the beginning, you want... I don't like my shrimp scampi swimming in butter and lemon juice. I want it to... It's, it's swimming days are over. So uh, what we want is we want it to be semi-thick sauce, sort of like a sauce but not a thick sauce. So we're gonna turn these over. And this is going to come together very quickly. Shrimp scampi comes together very quickly. Um, so you have to have all the ingredients ready, like I said at the beginning of the video. Okay, and then we're going to, I'm just gonna put all these together. And we're gonna put all this, the rest of the seasonings together. I missed some on this one, but that's okay. And then if you want to, the leftover flour. Like I said, you don't want too much flour. You want to just kind of And yes, I could have put these in a bag and, you know, kind of did it the the uh, the way they used to do the, you know, shake and bake back in the old days if, for those of you dinosaurs like myself who remember that ha 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 uh, but we're going to get these all floured up we don't want to use too much flour because then it'll be gunky we don't want that okay these are prepared so uh, we're going to get my pan ready and this is going to come together very quickly you you will see so we'll let those sit for a minute and I'll be back. Okay, we're going to get the pan nice and hot. And like I said, this comes together very quickly. 
so uh, as you will see so we will put the oil all the oil in and we're going to put about two tablespoons of butter in and we're going to let that melt help it along a little bit Once the butter is melted, we will put our uh, shrimp in. And you don't want to overcook the shrimp. Uh, shrimp gets nice and rubbery when it's overcooked. You don't want that. It does not take long for shrimp to cook. As soon as it turns pink all around, you're pretty good. Now some people put the garlic in first. I don't. I don't like burnt garlic. So I'm going to put the shrimp in first. As soon as that starts sizzling. That cracking noise you hear, that's water on the stove because I washed the stove off. And clearly didn't dry it properly. So As soon as you see the butter start bubbling. We're going to put our shrimp in. And I like a nice sear on the shrimp. I like them to have a nice brown color. I think they taste better. Feel free to peek. I peek. I know a lot of chefs say don't peek. I like to peek. How else are you going to know? I play with my food. If you play with your food, put it in the comments below. Humor me. Okay. I'm going to flip them over. going to put the garlic in. Oh, smells phenomenal. Okay, now Now I'm going to put the lemon juice, wine, a little bit of the parsley, and 
Okay, now I'm going to take the shrimp out, put them aside. I don't want to overcook the shrimp while the sauce is cooking. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of the butter in. Oh, phenomenal. A little more parsley. See how it's reducing? Phenomenal. Oh, perfect. Done. And we're going to pour that gorgeous sauce over the shrimp. Beautiful. Gorgeous, thick sauce. And now we're going to make our pasta and serve it with the pasta. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to make our pasta that we made in the other video. As soon as the water boils, we're going to put it in. It does not take long. That's the other thing about fresh pasta. It really does not take long. It takes about two minutes. Tops. A little bit of salt to the water. And as soon as this boils, we're going to throw our pasta in. Remember we made our pasta in the other video. Uh, it was in the refrigerator, so it's a little stiff, but that's okay. As soon as it hits the water, it'll be fine. And then once our pasta is done, we'll add the shrimp scampi to it and enjoy one of my favorite meals. Absolutely delicious. Comes together quick. Um, I would say you know, because I'm making a video, I've been doing this now for about an hour. But you could easily, if you make the fresh pasta ahead of time, if you don't want to make it when you come home from work and do the two of them at the same time, just make it ahead of time. Make a bunch of different pastas, throw them in the freezer, and it's great. But like I said, it really does not take long. So uh, as soon as this comes to a boil, I'll be back. Okay, our water's boiling. I'm only going to put two of these little bits in there. <clears throat> and like literally almost as soon as they float to the top, they're done. See them starting to float to the top? That, I don't even know if that's a minute. I can take one out. I can tell by touching it. It's a little hot, so I'm not going to throw it against the wall like the old Italians used to do. Mmm. Mmm. Fabulous. Done. Take it out. 
put it in the dish. And we'll get our shrimp and I'll be right back and we'll give it a taste. Okay, here we are. Look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it smells divine. Let's give it a taste. The shrimp has a nice sear on it. Just the right amount of garlic. A little bit of flour to make the sauce a little thicker. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. We'll try our pasta. This is how I twirl. I don't use a spoon. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delightful. Super good. Super fast. It's fresh pasta. Nothing like it. Really, truly, nothing like it. Mm. Cheers. So there you have it, folks. The Gothic Chef's Shrimp, Scampi, and Fresh Pasta Recipe. Please give it a try. There will be a link to my website in the description below where uh, you will find the recipe and uh, all ki kinds of tips and tricks and please subscribe to my channel share with your friends like and all that other good stuff if you will please and join me next time on the gothic chef